Hello and welcome to my channel Making IT Simple. In my previous video, I explained about first normal form. And before we move on to second normal form, we need to clear some concepts. So that we will be doing in this video. We are going to learn about partial dependency. We have seen what is a functional dependency. Now let us understand when is functional dependency called partial dependency. Let us start after a really short intro. Let us start with an example and then come to the theoretical definitions. So let's assume we have a relation or table R. It has four attributes A, B, C and D. Now this relation R has some functional dependencies as follows. By using A and B together we can identify D. And using attribute B we can find or identify C. So using A, B we can find out C and D and also A and B. That means we can identify all the attributes present in this relation using A and B. Therefore, we can say that A, B together is a candidate key. And by using the candidate key A, B, we can identify the complete tuple. This is called as closure. A, B closure will give us all the four attributes A, B, C and D. Now as we know in the following relation AB is the candidate key. Based on that we can differentiate the attribute in two types. First one is prime attribute and another one is non-prime attribute. So the attributes that are part of candidate key are called as prime attributes. In this example attribute A and attribute B both are prime attributes. Attribute C and attribute D which are not part of candidate key are non-prime attributes. By using prime attributes we can find or identify the non-prime attributes. Note that in this example we have a small relation or a table. So it has only one candidate key and therefore that will become the primary key as well. But in many cases there can be multiple candidate keys present in a relation. So all the attributes present in those all candidate keys are called prime attributes. Ok so now we understood what is prime attribute and what is non prime attribute. Now let's focus back on functional dependencies. Let's see the first one. Attribute or dependent D is determined by determinant AB. D is determined using candidate key. So there is no problem with this functional dependency. Second one is dependent C is determined by determinant B. Now B is not a candidate key but it is a part of candidate key. Now understand this carefully. When a non-prime attribute in this case C can be determined using part of candidate key in this case B. This type of functional dependency is called as partial dependency. As it depends on the part of candidate key and not on complete candidate key. It is said to be partial dependency. In the above case a non-prime attribute can be determined using complete candidate key. So this is not a partial dependency. So the definition for partial dependency goes as follows. Partial dependency in a DBMS occurs when a non-prime attribute depends on a proper subset or we can say part of the candidate key. To identify partial dependency in a relation you must follow these steps. In the first step you must identify candidate keys in a relation. In the second step you must differentiate prime and non-prime attributes. And in the last step you need to find a non-prime attribute that is determined by a part or a proper subset of a candidate key. That is all for today's video. Hope you understood the concept. If my videos help you in clearing the concepts and your doubts, leave a like and share the video with others in need. And for more such amazing videos, subscribe my channel Making IT Simple and press the bell icon to get latest video notifications. See you in the next video. Thank you.